This is a penny drop box. It looks like an old children's game, but it's actually a scam. I'm gonna show you how the scam works. The box is almost like a piggy bank, and sometimes pennies can go in the piggy bank if you put them in the number six drawer. But if you put them in the one, two, three, four, five drawers, just kind of hang out there. Only the six goes into the bank. There's only one slot in this. Now, before the game starts, I'm gonna take 100 bucks, this is my own money, and I'm gonna put it in the box, and I'll tell you that you have a chance to win the $100 from the penny box. All you have to do is beat me in the game, and the game only costs $5 to play. Do you wanna play? Yeah. Great. Here's how it works. We each have 10 pennies, and we have a dice. You roll the dice, I'll go first, and if you get a six, you put the penny in the bank. Now you take a roll. All right, you got a three, so put your penny in the three slot. Okay. Now, we'll see what I get. I get a six, right? I get a one. Let's say I got a one this time. Mm -hmm. Now, I would put my penny in the one slot. Now, you roll, and if you get a one or a three, that's not gonna be good. You got a one. Uh -huh. That means you actually have to take the penny out from the one slot and the rest of the pennies in there. Okay. All right, so that, that's how you play the game. You ready to play now? Yeah. All right, so we each start out with 10 coins, one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. So now we've each got 10, and this should look like a fair game, but if you watch carefully, you might notice something sneaky going on. Do you wanna go first or second? First. Okay, go for it. Okay. So you take a roll, you get a two, put your penny in the two slot. Okay. All right, and I got a six, so mine goes in the six slot. Go for yours. Okay. All right, you got a four. All right, I got another six, so this goes here, up to you. Okay. All right, you got a six, six. good. Yep, so that's gonna go away. I got a five, so mine goes in the five. Okay. You got a three, so yours goes in the three. Let's see, I got a six, so mine goes in there. Up to you now. Oh. You got a four, now that's no good, so you're oh, gonna have to take man. out all of those. Okay. Yeah, so and that goes through. The pile. first one to lose their pennies is the winner. Okay. Right? So now, let's see, I got a five. Okay. Here you go. One. one. Now I've got a one, so I lose these, right? Mm -hmm. These come back to me. Now mm -hmm. it's up to you. Five. Okay. It seems like a fair game at this point, but there is, I got a four. There is something sneaky going on. Okay. Which will mean that you will lose almost all the time. I got a two, even though it seems like a fair game. That's a oh, five, right. so you're so gonna have, have to take, take all those. Yeah, okay. that's no good. Yeah. So now it's my turn. I got a two. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Yep. You got a six. Six. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So I got another two. I take mine back. Okay. Your turn. Two. two. All right. I got a six. Your turn. You got a five. Okay. All right, and now for me, it's a three. Let's see, you're up. You got a one, okay. very exciting. Let's see, I got a one, so now I have to take all these, mm. right? It seems like it's pretty even, but we have fewer pennies and fewer pennies mm -hmm. as we put the pennies in the box. Now it's your turn. Okay. All right, you got a five, that's good. And then I got a three, okay. your turn, a four. All right, I've got a five, so now I'm gonna take all of these. Okay. Your turn. It's a two. two. Now look, you're in the lead. You've only yeah. got four. I've got more than twice as many. It mm -hmm. seems like you're gonna win this. I've got a three here. Okay. All right, now it's to you. A two, so uh, you take those. Yeah. That's no good. Okay. And now for me, it's a five. There's a four. Uh, okay. Yep, here's a two. There's uh, a five, so you take those. Okay. Now, I think at this point, you'll notice the game might change, that's a six for me, might change trends a little bit. Let's see, okay. you got a five, I got a four. Mm -hmm. Five, so uh, you take those. Okay. Yeah, before you were winning, it was four to eight. Now I've only got the, the four, so now it's a four for me. Okay. A three, three for you. Yep. Yeah, let's see, I got a six over there. Okay, the six goes in there. You got a five, all right, looking good. That's a two. Now it's your roll, let's see. Okay. 
No, you didn't want a five, because a five, oh. you gotta take all those back. Yeah. And this means on my next turn, I'm gonna win, because no matter what I roll a four, I'm out of pennies. Oh. So, I'm out of pennies, and this is bad. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You have way more than you started with. Hmm. So, here's how this game works. It looks like a fair game, but it is a scam. The scam is not in the box. Uh, the box is totally normal. Also, if you were playing this game with all normal equipment, then it would be a completely even game. But I did have something sneaky going on. There's one number in this game that's different from all the rest of the numbers. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, those are the same, but a six is different because you can roll a six however many times you want, and that will never hurt you in the game. Sometimes if you roll a one, that means that you'll have to take the coins if there's already a coin in the one slot. Same for two, three, four, five, but the six, you can roll as many times as you want. That ties in, not to the pennies, but to the dice I'm using to play the game. You can see, it has all different sides. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice, but it's not a normal dice. This dice is what's called a floater. If we were to put it in water, it would float to the top of the water, and the side that you would see floating upright is the six. It's weighted on the bottom, but there's a gap in the top. In the old days, when people were gimmicking dice, they would just put metal weights in the side they wanted to go farther to the bottom. So if you wanted it to roll sixes, you would put a metal weight in the one side. But then, when people learned about weighted dice, if you wanted to catch a cheater, you would just take his dice and throw it in the fire, and then if you saw metal bits left over, you would know he was cheating. So that's why they made these floater dice. You can throw them in the fire, and there will be no evidence that they are sticky after you do it. Now, the floater dice, as you saw in the game, it does not roll six every time, and you would not want it to roll a six every time because that would make it too obvious that you were cheating. So instead, it will roll a six just slightly more than one out of six times. But that's all you need to win this game. So let's see, this is the floater dice. Let's see what happens when I roll it six times. If it was a regular dice, you'd expect one of the six rolls to get a six. Let's see, there's a four. There's a six, there's a two, there's another six, there's another two, and there's a four. So it came up six, two out of six times. And if we roll it again and again, you'll see that six will come up, there it is, a little more than it should. There was two sixes in a row. So all you have to do is play this game, the penny drop game, game with a six floating dice, and then you can put a hundred bucks of your own money in there. You can put however much in, because with a weighted dice or a floater dice, it is so unlikely that the other person is gonna beat you.